Hello friends, thank you for joining us today for this special time of prayer and fasting for Spencer County. In the Bible, in the Old Testament, the, the people of God would take a, a, a season on, on special occasions to spend time praying and fasting. They would set aside food for a period of time so that their prayer life would be more focused upon the Lord. And so we're inviting our community to do the same thing today, to set aside food. Maybe for others of you, maybe you're set aside, you're setting aside something else so that you can be focused today praying for our community. Uh, the the uh, coronavirus crisis has impacted us in a big way. And we believe that, uh, that all great things are built upon a foundation of prayer. And so as we pray for our community today, we're not only praying that God would safeguard us against sickness, but we're also praying that God would move in a mighty way in our neighborhoods in Spencer County. We're praying that God would, would bring revival to the churches of Spencer County. We're praying that God would do some amazing things in this very difficult time. We believe that God is greater than all the challenges that come before us in life. And so today, we encourage you to spend some time talking to the Lord, to devote some time today lifting our community up, praying for one another, and asking God to do an incredible thing in the midst of this difficult time. He is more than able to do that. And we're so thankful that you're joining us today in this time of prayer. Now, throughout the day, there'll be several people at different times uh, through this medium uh, sharing some scriptures. And so I want to start today with this scripture, which comes from Ephesians, the third chapter. The Apostle Paul, writing to the church at Ephesus, he prays a prayer for the church there, and he writes this prayer out. So this is my prayer for our community at a time like the one we're in now. So please listen to the words of the apostles. May this be our prayer today. Here's what he says, the Apostle Paul. He says, For this reason I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted in and established in love may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Jesus Christ throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray together. Father, we do call upon you now, and Lord, we ask that you would be glorified in the midst of this trying time in our community. Today, to get today, Father, together we pray as, as followers of Christ, that your hand would be upon us. We seek you, Lord, and we ask that you would come alongside. Obviously, Lord, we pray for the sick, and we pray for those that are afflicted, and, and we pray for those that are afflicted by COVID-19. We pray, Father, for your hand of healing to be upon all these. We pray for your, your hand of protection to, to be upon this community, Father. We ask that you would put a hedge around this great community, and that you would Watch over us, Lord, and we pray for, for a, a cure to this virus, Father, and for healing. But along with all that, Father, today we also want to pray that you would do a mighty work in the hearts and souls of the people of this community. We pray, dear Lord, for some who are hard-hearted, that their hearts would be softened. We pray, dear Father, for the prodigals who have went astray, that they would come back home and you would greet them with open arms. We pray, dear Lord, for those that are struggling in our community with different issues, whether it's health or finances or relationships, that they would find you as their source of strength. We ask, Lord, that you would be 
lifted up and glorified. We pray for the hearts and the homes of this community that you truly would be Lord in both our hearts and in our homes as well. Father, we just ask for your hand to be upon us and may we honor you today. Bring a revival to your churches here. And Father, may you be pleased. But most of all, Lord, we just ask for your hand to guide, direct, and lead us. Lord, we know that you are a God of good things and we have been blessed by you and will continue to be blessed by you. It is our prayer, dear Lord, that you would be glorified by the things that we do, that we would honor you and that your kingdom would expand. May you do immeasurably more, Father, than all we ask or even hope for. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. All right, as you pray today, uh, find a quiet place. Go somewhere where you can talk to God and, and just, just talk to him. Share with him your heart. Give him praise. And the Bible teaches us over and over again, especially in the New Testament, when we come to talk to God in prayer, we should always come with a heart of thanksgiving. And that's a good place to start. We should be so thankful for the blessings that God has given us and how he continues to bless. So I'm praying with you today. God bless you and thank you for praying for our community.